In November 2020, Chancellor Rishi Sunak announced that the UK would cut its foreign aid budget from 0.7% of gross national income GNI, to 0.5%, citing the economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. This decision sparked a backlash from many Conservative MPs, who argued that it was a breach of the party's manifesto pledge and a moral duty to help the world's poorest people. The rebels tried to force a vote on reversing the cut, but the government refused to allow it, saying that it was a temporary measure and that the aid budget would return to 0.7% when the fiscal situation improved. However, the government did not specify what criteria would be used to determine when that would happen. In July 2021, the government finally agreed to hold a vote on the issue, but with a catch. It proposed a motion that would link the restoration of the aid budget to two conditions. That public sector net debt as a percentage of GDP is falling, and that borrowing is no more than 2.5% of GDP. The government claimed that these conditions were based on the recommendations of the Office for Budget Responsibility OBR, but critics said they were too stringent and unlikely to be met before the government also used the threat of tax rises to spook the rebels, who numbered around 50 at their peak. Mr. Sunak warned that if the motion was defeated, he would have to find an extra £4 billion from elsewhere in the budget, which could mean higher taxes or lower spending on public services. He also suggested that maintaining the aid budget at 0.7% would undermine the UK's credibility and fiscal responsibility in the eyes of international investors and markets. Despite passionate speeches from some of the rebels, who accused the government of breaking its promises and damaging its reputation, the motion passed by a majority of 35 votes, with only 24 Conservatives voting against it. The result was a significant victory for Mr. Sunak, who acquired a new political weapon in his fight against spending pressures from his colleagues and his neighbor in number. The vote also showed that Mr. Sunak had more support within his party than Boris Johnson, who faced several rebellions over issues such as free school meals, universal credit, and COVID restrictions. The Chancellor's popularity among Tory MPs and voters could make him a formidable contender for the leadership if Mr. Johnson decides to step down or faces a challenge in the future.